Today I'm going over some of Psalm 107, and as always, I pray the Holy Spirit gets this to the right person at the right time. Starting in verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Testimony. Those he gathered from the lands, from the east and west, from the north and south. Doesn't matter where you come from. God can still use you. If you have breath in your lungs, there's a reason why you're still alive. Verse 4. Some wandered in the desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they would settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. They cried out, and the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He always does. doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what your background is. God just wants you to come home. Verse 7. He led them to a straight way, to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Always keep praising God. Keep the praise of the Lord on your lips at all times. If you can learn to praise God in the storm, there's nothing that's going to end up bothering you. You're going to develop real thick skin if you can learn to praise God in the storm and do that consistently. Let's see, where was I? Verse 8. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains, because they rebelled against God's commands and despised the plans of the Most High. So he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled, and there was no one to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. Yes, God is a very loving God, but he's also a just God. He will save you from your troubles, but you also have to consider that sometimes when you're going through a difficult situation, in some cases, it's just the consequences of somebody's actions, whether it's your own or someone else's. And if it is the result of your own actions, sometimes it's just best to bite the bullet and go to God and own up to it. If you do that, it's like, okay, I remember your sins no more. That's what God's going to say to you when you bite the bullet, own up to your mistakes, and admit it to him and ask for forgiveness. God's going to say, I forgive you. I'm going to take that sin of yours. Oops, what happened to it? That's basically what God, God's going to do. Verse 14. He brought them out of darkness the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind, for he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some become fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. Basically, they're going through the results, the, results, the consequences of their own actions. They loathed all food and drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Yeah, basically that's the message of what I've been reading the first half of Psalm 107. Basically, sometimes what you're going through is the consequences of your own actions, but you call out to God He'll save you, he'll forgive you, and remember those sins no more.